the last Air France flight. The last ticket to Paris for Romain Legal, a young student who had to cut short her Brazilian adventure after the announcement by the French Prime Minister. She had already undergone a PCR test. Il me juste un papier à remplir en plus. C'est pas dans les bars. Euh, où, au début, je l'ai fait, mais euh, au vu de la situation, du nombre de morts qui a augmenté, euh, j'ai vraiment changé mes habitudes. J'ai vraiment fait attention au vu des, euh, des morts et au vu du nombre en fait de personnes euh, atteintes du Covid et notamment du variant. Brazil is gradually becoming isolated from the world as the death toll rises. One of the hardest hit cities is Rio, also one of the places where vaccination is happening most slowly. In this Olympic park, which five years ago welcomed the world, they're going as fast as they can. It's the turn of Marta, this 63-year-old woman. There's relief in the air and some anger too. What more could he have done? Tem a tomada vacina, a gente também pode pegar. E agora tem P1, variante, ele está ficando resistente. According to a recent study, the Coronavac vaccine, the main one used in Brazil, is very effective against a new variant. The problem is that only 11% of the population have been vaccinated to date, a rate far too low when Fio Cruz, the Brazilian equivalent of the Pasteur Institute, has detected more than 90 new worrying strains in the country, including the infamous P1 variant, which has been studied by this specialist. A vacinação, in grand scala, se acompanha do isolamento social. Vacinar apenas não contém a transmissão. E além disso, o Brasil, de certa maneira, propiciou a propagação dessa variante na medida em que não tomou medidas de contenção social, de fechamento. Se hoje há um fechamento de fronteira, ele foi um fechamento tardio. The fear of the health specialists is this. Underground parties are taking place everywhere, like this one in Rio just a few days ago, encouraged by a president who still argues against lockdown and social restrictions. In the streets of Rio, bars and restaurants have just reopened, against the backdrop of a variant that increasingly infects young people. In intensive care units, half of the patients are under the age of 40.